Okay, last 30 minute 10 second game for today. Okay, let's just get the pieces out. Castle. So what's the usual thing? Blasting down here with the pawn. Sites so of opening up. So that's all pretty normal stuff potentially castles but it's very rare they sorry potentially captures it's very rare that they do do that but then we go here oh he's coming in with the knight fancy dancy let's go here so he's um, preserving blocking in his dark square bishop is there a temple lost oh he's um He's really, he's kind of defensive, isn't he? Doesn't want to actually do anything. So hopefully we'll get our pieces in a half decent position. This has got to come in at some stage because this poor bishop is like suffocating. Hmm. It's like a serious play of this. So, I'm potentially interested in attacking the bishop just to get it back. And um, like we did in the previous, um, was it a bullet, not bullet game, blitz game late, earlier today. Sort of cajole, cajole it around so that way they try and attempt to come for the king. Obviously, he's blocked himself in here, so it's probably going to all go all the way back. So I think that's potentially what I'm interested in doing. I think I'll do that. It could be different and bring it here. in this camera there's one thing to be said for a built-in webcam it's that you, you can't kick it <laughs> but the quality is um, totally different I'm still working with the sync with the dialogue and the actual capture as well didn't seem to be too bad on the twitch type thing but there was a load of um, what's the word now but I don't think that's my fault where it was like breaking up and cracking I think that was more twitches Ooh, okay well obviously we're going to have to take and it's exploding now okay so he's had a lot of thought about this situation I think his knights coming here so he put a lot of thought and energy into that his bishop's still jammed in here which is okay for us now he's opening it up so he's put so much thought into that there pawn comes here this pawn's in the center my knight looks like he's potentially getting trapped do i need to be scared of this pawn yeah well we can come here let's take this baby off the board knight takes because he's on the queen got to be careful don't want to get trapped i can still come here with the knight not 
just yet though because then I'll get forked we have to be careful here I can see what's happening now because it's going to end up trapping my knight so I need to move first because this pawn is going to be trapping my knight if he gets here he's blocking my knight from coming back to this square mmm little trickster so I could come here but his pawn just drops we go up attacking his rook he might miss it he might miss it don't think so though bishop then comes to attack my queen yeah I don't think I'm a fan of them apples he gets my knight doesn't he could x-ray through I'm gonna x-ray through to his queen also be in front of his king that'd be annoying obviously simply he's just going to attack the queen where do we go from there keep the pin and then he pushes down opening up his um, king side area we can blast across here okay something to think about or we can just sit here if we wanted to don't really like them apples though because his knight can attack but then we can attack his queen I suppose alright lots of things to think about there depends on what the opponent does next but I'm sure he's going to be getting a little bit squinchy about the queen being in front of his king not that it can do any damage at this moment hmm but definitely I believe he's, he's still thinking of trying to trap my knight so if we see this then we know he's going for the knight so well, we do have time to move this pawn up I was thinking of potentially coming to attack then we can come around this way if we're attacked again so probably gonna be okay yeah I think I'll probably do that oh he's moved the queen he still looks like he's coming for oh he's coming for the pawn so we could come and attack his pawn he's taking himself off of the line we've got two pieces he's defending this pawn as well that's a lot of cleverness going on there ok so if we came here then if he dropped then we attacked his knight his knight takes, pawn takes then this pawn goes so it looks like I'm gonna have to babysit this pawn doesn't it something's getting trapped somewhere I can feel it in my water in fact also with him going there as well if he does drop the pawn then I can't go here so I'm gonna have to do the pawn move up to give my um, rook some space my knight some space so we'll babysit this pawn Mmm. Mmm. Drops. Got to remember to push. If I take my hand off of the actual mouse, then I'm not going to do any knee jerk reaction moves, am I? Okay, so it's a different pawn. So his rook's going to be down the center. I don't have to take. I can move the knight. I can move it. And I can move it. And I can move it. Oh, we take. Seems to be giving it, giving him a bit of a power base, doesn't it? take and then he's on our queen but then this pawn will be going if he did take takes with the pawn he's still on our knight 
Can't go there because it's got the queen and the rook. There must be something he's giving up here. I'm just going to take. I don't want to overcomplicate it. It's just a take and take, isn't it? And just move the knight because the pawns are going to take. Hmm. <laughs> thought this guy was going to be serious when I flicked on the thing I'm like ooh okay but he's still at the question mark stage so his rook takes actually his rook takes I'm going to go here because he's on our knight at last we get rid of the knight well get the knight in the game a bit This is protect. This is definitely coming in, isn't it? And then he's got his bishop looking to come here, but his rook, rook will be blocking the way for a moment. <clears throat> I need to be fine. Yeah, look, did I say? Okay, so he's in. We're going to attack his queen. I moved there a bit quick, I should have looked up. Well, I did, I don't think there is anything yet. It's probably going to be a bit risk averse, isn't it? He's not, I don't think he will take. Because his rook's here all by itself. The knight's there as well, but it, I don't know. I don't think they'll take with the queen. What, where do we go from there? We've got a nice. Oh, his knight's there though. Can we not get rid of his knight? He does take. Okay, so we're on his rook if he forgets himself. So he needs to make space. So his potential. Not actually, he'll probably go backwards, won't he? Because he wants to do the bishop thing. So he, he goes up attacking the knight. We can come back down attacking him, then he goes up again, still hunting this bishop thing. Then we can move the king out of the way, I think. But is there something better than that before we do any of that? Somebody needs to be owning the file. But I don't think we can rush to do that when we know that there's potential damage coming. So up he comes. I wish the knight could do something more proactive, but it, it can't, so it's going to have to come back. Yeah, it's a, a slow burner. It's a slow burner. Positional play, fingers crossed, it works for us. Because in our mantra, rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. But we understand why this one is here, because it wants to get that little bit of a cheapie in there. But it's... I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I mean that's just a small, tiny, little attack, which is like a tactic, and it's not, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not nowhere near giving them a good position on the board, that's what I'm hoping, definitely, based on our experience. Is there something else? I don't think there is. I'd be stupid if I was going to go over exerting this pawn. Could put a 2 on 1 there. But again, the knight's going to be under attack. So, what is the point in doing that? Could bring the rook here to protect the knight. But again, really, what is the point in that? Oh! Nothing like what we said. He's trying to get it out of the way. He's attacking the pawn here. Damn, it looks like he's trying to escape his rook. I think he might believe that it's actually going to get trapped. Which 
going to push this pawn up. They took a long time over that move. Hmm. So looking to touch here. No. Bishop. Damn bishop. Yeah, if he uses his bishop right, I mean, we might be in some trouble. Oh, he's pushing the pawn. Do, do, do. He's probably thinking I'm jumping there, then his knight takes us. Can't go there. I can't attack it. But his, pawn, his rook is defending at the moment. Come in the far corner, pawn drops down, come up here. Do, 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 do. Shall we attack it? This bishop's getting into the game and I think somehow this is gonna squish my pawn. Gonna find a miraculously good position. Mm. Ooh, okay. There's no point pushing there, he pushes down, but then we take. So I suppose in there is a point. Yeah, he's down with the. Oh! It's a bit of a situation though. Take, knight takes. Do, do, do. Let's push. What have we gone here? It's probably realistically looking to go there. yeah he is realistically looking to go there because that spoils our attack here actually it doesn't really because if we go there and he drops down we take his rook off the board he takes our knight and we come across here and then i suppose he comes here but then the knight will take so i think we can still just push onto his rook yeah that's what I think. I don't want to overthink it too much because um, if it's wrong, it's. But it looks favourable for us at this moment until he decides to bring his rook here and he's on both of my knights. <laughs> uh, I suppose I'd have to push this pawn, but then he's going to challenge that pawn. I suppose we then bring this pawn here. Maybe nothing to worry about. See how the creative brain went crazy? Then the logical brain kind of toned it down a bit so he's moved the rook so we can take the pawn with the knight and then we've got a fork on the bishop and the rook let's take oh are you joking oh, are you joking dear me where did that come from Why didn't I see that? That's because I was doing the narrative in that that rote fashion. I was going the 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 yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't even do a calculation or anything then. Ay 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 ay. I could feel myself going into it. I was like thinking, well, it looks like this is kind of all sewn up. So I just blah 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 blah. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's the only place it's going to be safe, I think. Because if we pushed onto the rook, then he's just going to take our um, knight. So we won't be able to get the bishop. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a damn shame, is that? That's oh, garbage, garbage, garbage. Ay, ay, ay.
Whew. That was very lucky. Unbelievable. Good job. This is the last game I'm playing today. Okay, that was um, a good tester. We got lucky because the opponent put themselves in a position that allowed us to gain an equalization ish. But yes, we'd miscalculated earlier on, so I had to stay quiet and just focus and see if I could capitalize on anything that they were going to give to me. Because, yeah, that was a bit of a shabby loss of my, I think it was my night, wasn't it? I went into road fashion with the narration. And I didn't do a calculation properly, so it was all my fault. Okay, queens come through, taking, it's round about here, isn't it? Yeah, so the rook's up, I mean, we're, we're okay, I mean, even the gauge bar is saying, but I went into raw fashion, you know? I went into, oh, yeah, let's just take that there, you know? Would have been probably safer just taking with the pawn here. Do you know? But I'm there thinking, oh, let's go for a fancy fork with the knight. But practicalities. Unbelievable. But we didn't do that. This is what we did. It's given them plus six. Look at that. Wow, that is just an, an out and out win, basically. But it goes to show, I mean, it took a lot of quiet, calm, concentration just to see if we could see anything they weren't giving anything but you do find sometimes when people have too many pieces on the board they don't really know what to do with them so then they will make a mistake majority of the time it's the very few that really know how to clean up house okay so it's only a few moves away from them actually gaining the advantage I can see what they were going for, but at the same token, it, it, it yeah, this, they're out and out winning here, 7.4, so they didn't even have to move that night, they could have done anything else. Out of all those moves that they did, they chose that one, which then gave a fork on their pieces. Out of all of those moves on there, would you have done that move? <laughs> A bit like, well, would you have tried to put that fork on the bishop and the rook? Well, yes, I did. And yes, this person did. Although I don't see the rationale for their particular move. You can see the rationale for my move. It's going for a fork on pieces. Hey. But this one here, it's attacking a pawn which is protected by a rook. And I don't see any other continuation other than maybe they thought that rook was not protected that pawn wasn't protected so that's why they went there so that allowed us back in the game a little bit i mean we're not absolutely out out winning here so it's got to a drawn position at least but you have to be able to spot those sort of things you know i've seen those types of things missed on many occasion even from myself and even from even from higher ranking players i've seen those types of things missed Okay, so we come through and we grab. You know, I said to myself, I don't think the computer's gonna be happy with this move, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm, I need to take pieces off the board. He might forget himself, and we might be able to get the rook off the ball for free. But he made it better for us. So we grabbed, and then we could put a fork on. I don't really know why they came. So they're coming down greedy munchy for some pawns. So we could push up. Again, you probably should have just taken with the pawn there. And I like this particular manoeuvre. Um, I got this out of one of those books that I've read. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, out of one of those books that I was read. And then also um, there was a, a puzzle type thing that I was doing. 
and it utilized this type of stuff and I'm like well this is quite nice and I was listening to one of the uh, was it was it Magnus Carlsen Magnus Carlsen was doing some sort of um, quizzes or whatever it was and he was highlighting this so it's kind of sort of like solidified in my head in this situation it's like well you can push if he does take then basically the rook can't go because this is blocked so it can't go there to defend so that's the rhythm of the pawns so that was quite nice uh, nice touch so an interesting game there again like i've said when you're playing human chess humans make mistakes you know and even if they don't make a mistake and they've done a perfect game it's because you've either given them the perfect game or they well they're not human <laughs> so um in essence or actually no there is another way as well is that um you're both playing really good chess and it's equalizing and it ends up being perfect anyway you know so th those are the occasions where you're getting like perfect games and stuff and so i made a mistake my opponent made a mistake in this game and we capitalized more so on their mistake than they did on ours and that's the game of chess you look at any high rank ranking game or look at any game of chess and you'll see ups and excuse ups and downs in the game uh, especially if they you know you're equal or you're there or thereabouts or even even lower rated players can do it against high rated players because we've got a different mind process of thinking and um, so in the early stages of a game it's anybody's game and the strength of the character of the player starts developing towards the mid towards the end of the game so that's where you can see the differences in in the playing styles and playing strengths but in the early part of a game if you know you've both got your wits about you and you, you know you're feeling really sharp and you're on it on that day it's very hard to tell between the two of you until it starts hitting the back end of the mid game end game type thing so really enjoyed my games today i've been enjoying my games recently and there's only been two games that i've got um question marks on and rightly so um so that's um, not too bad out of about pfft, 100 or something games no i won't say 100 about 50 odd games there's only been two that i've got question marks on and that's playing across all um the sites that i'm playing on so that's that's not bad at all really so keep it up you good players you don't need your engines to play the games just use your human chess i'm right there with you